All right, brothers and sisters in Christ, how y'all doing today? Uh, so I had to get that uh, that video out of the way because like it was bothering me. But anyway, we're gonna get straight to the point here. It's gonna be simple and sweet and straight to the point. No one, I mean no one, shouldn't have to keep the law after they're saved. That doesn't make any sense because first of all, all you're doing is committing spiritual adultery. You cannot keep the law and have Christ at the same time because what you're doing is committing adultery spiritually you're cheating on God that's what you're doing you don't let no one tell you that yeah the moment you're saved you still got to keep the Ten Commandments no we already fulfill the law through Christ you can't fulfill the law yourself just because you have Christ in you that's not how it works either you keep the law or trust in Christ you can't have them both ways that's not how the that's not how it works. That's not how it works. So either you keep the law or keep Christ. It's your choice. Plain and simple. That's ridiculous. It's already bad enough if you got work salvation is trying to tell people that they need to keep the law to be saved by basically repenting of their sins or they gotta repent do repentance daily just to be saved or keep their salvation. That's not salvation at all. Jesus Christ died for our sins 2,000 years ago. He took all our sins. He put all our sins upon him because he was perfect enough to do the job. It's finished. There's nothing you need to do but believe and have faith what he done on the cross. Thank you for your time, brothers and sisters of Christ, and I hope you have a blessed day.